So what's the big problem with Ashes of Creation? Oh, I know. It's the always-on PvP. It's the lack of PvE servers. It's going to be a gank box. No, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Video on that later. So what's the problem? Is it the 64 classes? How could they possibly balance that? Is it the lack of instance rating and instance PvE content? No, I don't think that those are going to be big problems with the game. The big problem with Ashes of Creation is the casual and less invested players. The core game loop of Ashes of Creation is the node system. It's players impacting the world and guilds warring with each other and players making changes to the world. How do you keep the more casual and less invested players interested in that long term? And the key operative word is long term. There are a few things you can do to keep them short term interested, but how do you keep them interested long term? Take for example, Timmy two jobs. He has two jobs. He has nine screaming children. He plays the game here and there for an hour or two. He's not in, you know, uh, he's not super active in like a social group. He does play with other people. He appreciates that the game is, you know, a, a social game, but ultimately he is not not part of a guild that is doing things. He hops on and plays with his, you know, more casual guild and, and they do the whatever, but ultimately he is a low impact player. Why does he care about guild A owning a node over guild B if he's in neither guild and his guild is not even impactful enough to, to really make a difference. The ultimate issue is it's a situation of my vote doesn't count. And it might even be worse than that because in a lot of instances, it won't count. With how MMORPGs are designed, you're ultimately going to have a, a large class of people that are the low impact peasant class of gamer. I know that that is not popular to say. Everyone, when they think of these games, has delusions of grandeur about how they're going to be the blacksmith and or they're going to be the, the mighty PvP warrior or they'll have a big guild that does all these things. And Sure, some of those people do that and they have success and they're able to carve out a, a niche and create a dent in the universe. Absolutely. But the vast majority of players are not going to be that. They're going to be somewhat forgettable, low impact peasant players. And and yes, collectively they will have an impact, but not individually. And nobody really wants to be the peasant class of gamer. The big question they need to answer is how do you keep Timmy Two Jobs engaged in the outcomes of what's happening if he has no direct impact over it and he has no personal reward from it? Some of you guys are going to say, oh, well, you know, he wants to build up the node so he can get the node currency and the node reputation and uh, whatever, all of these little knickknack rewards, which great. That's absolutely true. That will absolutely work for a while. Will that work in perpetuity? Are those rewards going to be so good that the people are just going to engage with these systems all the time, no matter what, just forever? I'm a little skeptical because I know MMO players and I know MMO players will play a system until all the rewards are sucked up and then they want nothing to do with it. Or in fact, they will ignore the system entirely if they can get more, more rewards somewhere else faster. Um, they're not going to give a damn about building up a node if it gives them currency or doodads, if they can get more doodads over here killing boars. Like that's just how gamers play these games. Now, this is not a problem for people like me and you. People like me and you are naturally more invested in the outcomes of the game. You're watching an Ashes of Creation pre-release YouTube video. You are not the, the typical player. You are a more invested player. You're likely in a guild. You're likely part of a group of players that can make a dent in the universe. Um, even if you don't personally care about your guild standing, you likely want to fuck over those guys and you just want to kick their ass like you're a bit more socially invested and a lot of ashes of creation hinge hinges on that social investment you want you have to care you have to care about what's going on for the whole thing to work and i'm a little worried that these little knickknack rewards aren't going to mean much long term sure short term when everybody's got you know a bar they got to fill and a, a rep they got to grind and they care about building up the node for their own selfish reasons, sure. But will that work long-term? I'm a little skeptical. An example of this happening is New World. 
New World has a system where guilds can own towns, and the players help rank up these towns with their town board quests and all the other things they do. And in order to keep these towns ranked up with their high-level crafting stations, the players have to do invasions and win these invasions. If they lose the invasion, then the town will derank and the crafting stations will get worse. Now you may think, oh, surely the players do the invasions, right? They don't want their town with their crafting stations to get deranked, right? No. Nobody does the invasions. People don't give a damn if their town gets deranked because it doesn't directly affect them. It needs to directly affect them for them to give a shit. Or they need to have a reward for themselves personally to care. It's a carrot and a stick problem. Players notoriously do not like the stick. So how do you make the carrot in perpetuity? How do you, how do you make a reward that is good forever? That people are never going to get too much of and never going to be irrelevant. That is a difficult problem to solve. So are you guys worried about this long term? Because I am. I think this is probably the biggest problem with the game is how do you keep the, the people that aren't socially invested interested? I don't think there's going to be any problem keeping the guilds engaged because a guild, there's always going to be some drama or people playing for the sheer competition of it. Um, but I just am a little bit worried about the the guys that pay the bills, honestly. The the masses. The 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 casual peasant low impact masses. Do they care? Long term, do they care outside of getting their own personal rewards? I just know how people play this genre. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join the Discord. It's free.